I'm Kendra Von Esch of Shalom World, bringing you the news from around the globe. During a meeting with Italian oncologists, Pope Francis condemned the practice of euthanasia. The Holy Father said that the practice of euthanasia, which has already been legalized in several countries, in reality is based on a utilitarian view of the person who becomes useless or can be equated to a cost when from a medical point of view has no hope of improvement or can no longer avoid pain. Pope Francis explained that the commitment to accompany the patient and his loved ones at all stages of the course, trying to alleviate their suffering by offering a family environment in hospices, contributes to creating a culture and practices more attentive to the value of each person. He encouraged the medical workers to take Jesus as their example. On Sunday, Pope Francis announced a consistory to be held on October 5th for the nomination of 13 new cardinals. Il prossimo 5 ottobre terrò un consistorio per la nomina di 10 nuovi cardinali. Three of the 13 men are older than 80 years old and thus ineligible to vote in any future conclave to elect a new pope. Several of his picks come from developing countries like Cuba, Congo, and Guatemala. The Holy Father said that their origin expresses the missionary vocation of the church that continues to proclaim the merciful love of God to all men and women of the earth. The expanded College of Cardinals will include 128 electors from 68 countries. The concave that elected Pope Francis included participants from 48 nations. For the first time, the Irish Catholic Church has recognized that a seriously ill woman was healed during a pilgrimage to Knock 30 years ago. On the first Sunday of September 1989, Marion Carroll, an Irish woman, was cured of her long-standing illness at the pilgrimage center. She was brought on a stretcher on a pilgrimage to Knock, and she told a statue of Our Lady of Knock that Mary must know what it was like for a mother to suffer greatly. After her plea to Our Lady of Knock for healing, Mrs. Carroll claims her health was immediately transformed and that she began to walk again. Francis Duffy, Bishop of Arda and Clonmac Noise, said that the healing of Marion Carroll defies medical explanation. He said, 30 years ago, on the occasion of this pilgrimage, Marion was healed here at Our Lady Shrine. Today, the church formally acknowledges that this healing does not proclaim any medical explanation and joins in prayer, praise, and thanksgiving to God. In her first interview since her release from a Pakistani jail, Christian Asiya Bibi is urging appropriate investigation into blasphemy cases. She said that there should be proper investigation mechanisms while applying blasphemy law. Asiya thanked the Pakistan Supreme Court for releasing her, and she demands fair trial for other blasphemy victims. She said there are many other cases where the accused are lying in jail for years, and their decision should also be done on merit. The world should listen to them. The U.S. State Department says an estimated 77 others are in prison in Pakistan under blasphemy laws. Over a million people participated in the flag hoisting ceremony marking the beginning of nine days of prayer leading up to the birth of Mother Mary on September 8th at the famous Basilica of Our Lady of Good Health in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu. The flag was hoisted at the shrine by George Anthony Sami, Archbishop of the Madras Mylapore Diocese. He will preside over High Mass on September 7th with other priests of the diocese, followed by a grand chariot procession of the statue of Mother Mary carrying baby Jesus. Every year, September 8th is observed as the birthday of the Virgin Mary at the famous Marian shrine. The feast day prayers are said in Tamil, Malayalam, Telugu, Kannada, Konkani, Hindi, and English languages. The feast concludes with the crowning of the statue of Mother Mary. Thanks for watching and for your support. Stay in touch on social media, our app, and online at shalomworld.org. May you walk in the light of the Lord and may peace be